Hello everyone! So today we're going to be doing this makeup look because I am slightly bored and Valentine's Day is coming up. So I'm gonna start off with my base. And by the way, I'm not even holding my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. But for my base, I'm gonna leave you right there for a second. We're going to do. So if you remember from the last video, if you watched, if not, um, go watch it if you want. I did this primer because I said I didn't like the pink ones as much, but I'm starting to like it a bit more. So we're gonna do that as primer. And then we're going to probably color correct the e.l.f. camo concealer because I got some red spots. And we're gonna cover it up with the camo concealer and let that all dry down. Then we're gonna go on top with foundation and then the rest of the process. Um, so I'm gonna probably cut a grip and then come back. Okay, I look crazy right now. Now we're gonna cover up with my camo concealer, which also actually works. I am shade Fair Warm. And then I will come back after that. And I'm pr so I did blend out the conceal the not the concealer, the color corrector with a e.l.f. Um, concealer brush. And now I'm gonna go in with my where is it? Beauty blender that I just started using. But yeah, I will be back after I blend in that concealer and then I'll start doing the base with you guys. Now we're gonna go in with shade four of the blur. I put it on the back of my hand and then blend it out with my beauty blender. And then I just go to town. I might have did a bit too much on the back of my hand, which is fine because I need to cover up a little bit still. You're right here. My mirror is currently here. So I'm like looking into my camera and then looking up to my mirror so I can tell if I'm doing really right. But we're going to do that. And then I'm gonna explain through this in the video, so I'll probably cut from right here and then come back when I'm about to do my concealer. Now we're gonna go on concealer. I just finished blending. It does not look like I got it that good unless we look- I look a little pale. Unless we look a little bit. But that's done. So we're gonna do concealer. And we're just gonna do it underneath. My eyes right here. And then underneath there. And then I do it where my smile lines are. And then I'm gonna let the ones on this here sit while I blend the ones underneath my eye. I'm just going to do this side. Okay. 
and I'm gonna blend these out and then come right back. Okay, I just did that. This is what it looks in lighting. Pretty good. And then I don't do bronzer because it's winter and my bronzer is in my summer shades. So I'm gonna go in with my new blush that I'm like really obsessed with. It's on point from She Glam. And I just do a dot where I like to place my blush, which is right underneath my concealer because I'm just gonna try my best to blend it out on the other side and then on my nose. And this stuff is pigmented, so I'm gonna blend it out with my Beauty Blender that is for this as well and I'm just going with it in a light hand and just blend it out and I try my best to do this so I don't get any other product on the beauty blender in my blush but I like to go in an upwards angle and go a little bit towards my forehead to give me a more lifted effect Nope, not really. But, um, now we're gonna go in with the kisses around my cheek. And we're gonna use this cream lipstick from LA Colors. I will come back when I have the wrap stuff to like press it against my face. So I went ahead and put on the lipstick. We're gonna try and use this but let's see if it works obviously it somewhat worked and we're gonna do this side first I had a red lip pencil. I don't, apparently. So we're just gonna do this again. Seems pretty, pretty pigmented now. Now we're just gonna I really hope this works. Oh, I'm really starting to like it. I won't keep the red lips, even though I have done some pretty nice makeup looks with it. I think I've only done one with it, actually. But the last time I used red lipstick was for my Halloween costume. And I did like some flakes on it as well. And what I really liked about it is that 
it was like me doing a Greek goddess, but I also was basing it on the song Tears of Gold, if you don't know that song. Um, you should listen to it. It's a really good song. Um, I'm gonna just continue to do that on this side and come back and show you guys when I'm done, but yeah. So I just finished this side. I added like more. That's so cool. But I'm gonna come back after I do this side because you've already seen what I've done. I've done like six. Kind of looks like I did three, but I also topped a few to like give it more pigment. But I also learned to probably cover my cover it with powder. So this side's probably gonna look a lot better, which I'm not mad about. But I'll probably come back and this will probably off and then I'll come with the rest of my base routine. So I haven't taken off the lips yet, but this is this side. This side's a bit more powered. I might cover it a little bit with some of the leftover foundation on my the back of my thing. And just go pat, 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 pat. pat. Just turn it down a bit. I don't want to blend it in too much because but I just covered all of it with powder um I don't know if I'm gonna keep this side but we're gonna come in with some blush also I'm watching a YouTube video please ignore that in the background as best as you can um, I'm gonna go in with the essence blush I don't know what shade it is um, Beloved. And I'm gonna go in with my brush brush and just pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. And then I'm just gonna do what I normally do when it comes to brush and just pat, 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 pat. Pat, 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 pat. And just blend in the rest of it on my back of my hand. And just blend in circular motion. Um, I need to pick out something to take off my lips. I think. I'm gonna see. We're gonna try and get it off with. Some toilet paper. Kinda of working. My lips are still pink though. I'll come back after this. Hold on. Okay, I tried getting that off the best I could. But um, we're just gonna finish the brush. And that's now what we're gonna go in with. Some highlighter. This is Mountain Lion Color Pops. Um, super shock shadow. And this is my highlighter brush. I don't know what brand it's from. I just got it in a pack of like a bunch of them and just go in on the top of my nose. And then the bridge on the top part of my lip. A little bit on the cheekbones. My corner and then underneath my brow bone. We're gonna do a little light check and just I like it so far. I like it. I like this side a bit more, but that's normally how my makeup goes. This side looks a lot better. Um try something be right back so i tried removing like the leftover kind on the inside and just covered it so i'm gonna redo the highlighter a little bit 
and so the blush so I'm gonna do this and come in with my blush brush and just use whatever's axles on it and just pat it in but since that is done I'm gonna do some of my Um, by the way, to remove the like stuff I did not want, I used the Elf Holy Hydration Makeup Remover and just some Q-tips. Now I'm just gonna go in with my lash curler and my mascara, which I used the Elf Lash and Loud mascara. And I'll be right back. So that is done. I just did my mascara and I put on some chapstick. Um, I used the ASOS one, if you were wondering. And I'm gonna just clean up a bit and I'll show you the full outfit and touch up my hair. I'm gonna put on some natural lighting and turn on my lights. And this is makeup look this is the hair um I do not want to show you this outfit we're using my Stanley but this is the outfit I don't have any shoes on currently because I don't plan on going anywhere until a couple more hours so, I'll probably wear either these boots or these shoes, which these are my go-to shoes, as you can tell, both of these are, but yeah, anyways, um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if you ever want to come back and see some more videos, and love you!